Hi, VancouverWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, June 1st. A nice day for a change here as we begin the month of June. It looks like mostly sunny skies, high temperatures at or slightly above the 80 degree mark in most areas along the D.C. to Philadelphia to New York City corridor. High pressure will uh, stay in control today behind a cold frontal system that is working its way through the area right now. There will be another frontal system tomorrow afternoon, Friday afternoon, but it looks like it will only be able to produce some widely scattered showers or thunderstorms, so perhaps a widely scattered shower or thunderstorm Friday afternoon into the early evening hours. The weekend starts nice. It looks like partly to mostly sunny skies on Saturday in the mid-Atlantic region. Pretty warm, high temperatures well up in the 70s, but then more showers are likely by later in the week, and it looks like Sunday afternoon into the evening right into Monday, there's a threat for showers, and that could turn out to be a pretty decent uh, rain event late Sunday into Monday, and all that will be followed by cooler than normal weather for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Well, let's take a look at the current surface map. This cold frontal system is working its way through the, <coughs> excuse me, the I-95 corridor right now. It's dry. There's no uh, precipitation associated with it. In fact, Mostly sunny skies have already developed in the big cities from D.C. to New York City. High pressure will be in control for much of today, tonight, into the day on Friday, but then a weak frontal system drops in tomorrow afternoon into the early evening hours. Again, it's weak, and it could produce some scattered, widely scattered showers of thunderstorms uh, from, let's say, mid-afternoon on Friday into the early evening, and then that clears out of here for the beginning of uh, uh, the weekend, which should be a nice start with partly and mostly sunny skies and pleasant temperatures on Saturday. Well, in terms of clouds for today, again, it looks like a mostly sunny day, su sunny day all throughout the mid-Atlantic region. There are some clouds hanging around early this morning across parts of southwestern New Jersey and upstate New Jersey near New York City. They'll pull out shortly. Again, mostly sunny skies as that high-pressure system from the Ohio Valley moves over the Mid-Atlantic region. Well, let's use last night's uh, 060 GFS model run. First, take a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly chart for the next several days. First of all, blue here represents below normal heights at the uh, 500 millibar level of the atmosphere. And typically, below normal heights translates to cooler than normal uh, weather conditions at the surface. Here is that uh, uh, low pressure area over southeastern Canada. And again, this has kind of been the, the consistent theme over the last several weeks. May turn out to be slightly below normal temperature wise and part of the reason uh, was the fact that we had upper level low situated over the northeast U.S. much of the time during the month of May. Let's move forward in six hour increments from this morning, Thursday morning, right through the upcoming weekend. And first of all, we see a continuation. Here's Friday morning of upper level, below normal heights over the northeast U.S. And then it appears as if it's going to push off the coast over the weekend. Again, Saturday should be a pretty decent day, but look what happens here. It just basically reforms by Sunday. Notice the blue starting to show up again uh, by Sunday. And another Vigorous upper level low starts to uh, drop over the northeastern part of the country by the latter part of the weekend, uh, the early part of next week. And again, looks like this will bring the return of showers later Sunday into Monday and ultimately cooler than normal weather conditions. Here we are by Monday night. Notice continuation of that deep upper level low right on top of us. And certainly by Tuesday, we'll have well below normal temperatures here in the Mid-Atlantic region, and that continues right into the middle part of next week. All the warm air is confined to the central and western part of the nation by the middle of next week. Well, let's now walk through the surface forecast maps from the 060 GFS model run. Again, we're using six-hour increments, all these maps from tropicaltidbits.com. Here's that high-pressure area situated this morning over the western Great Lakes. It just drives to the south and east, basically dry conditions here in the I-95 car. Some showers down in the southeastern part of the nation, but the high pressure will protect us here in the mid-Atlantic region with mostly sunny skies and warm conditions. 
Anytime the sun comes out this time of the year, those temperatures will uh, jump uh, considerably compared to cloudy days. And again, 80 degrees is likely in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City this afternoon. Let's keep pushing ahead from tonight into early tomorrow. We start the day dry, probably mostly sunny in the morning, but then we'll notice here some widely scattered showers with a weak frontal system, a weak disturbance. So there can be a scattered shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon again. Here we go, some uh, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms, perhaps the best chance along the New Jersey coastline um, during the mid to late afternoon hours into the early part of the evening. But notice high pressure on its heels, and that clears us out for the beginning of the weekend. Here we go, Saturday morning forecast map. Again, Saturday looks like a pretty nice day in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. Plenty of sunshine, high temperatures well up in the 70s, probably mid to upper 70s in most areas. But as we progress through the weekend, here we go by late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Now by Sunday morning, the rain that is headed our way will cut across the Great Lakes and kind of drop from the northwest to the southeast. Sunday very likely starting off dry, but then as we push towards the afternoon, showers dropping in from the northwest to the southeast. And here we go by uh, early Sunday evening, showers pretty much from D.C. up across to New York City. So again, it looks like the weekend will start on the dry side, but end wet. Once we get into this wet pattern late Sunday, it looks like it'll stick around for a couple of days as that vigorous upper-level low forms over the northeast U.S. This is Monday, and still lots of showers here throughout the northeast U.S., a slow-moving upper-level low by early next week on top of the region here, and that will keep us unsettled. And by Tuesday, Canadian high pressure will be dropping across the Great Lakes into the uh, and influence the weather around here. Again, below normal temperatures on Tuesday. Let's keep moving forward here. Still the chance of a shower or two on Tuesday. Finally, by Wednesday, here we are, Wednesday morning, that Canadian high pressure system drops into the Midwest, Northerly flow of air here in the uh, mid-Atlantic region, below normal temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So kind of a mixed bag over the next several days. Very nice today. Looks like the weekend starts off dry but ends on the wet side. Those showers late Sunday, Sunday night continue into Monday, perhaps even into Tuesday, and much below normal temperatures by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. That's it for now for VentCoreWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.